Good afternoon, fellow YouTubers. It seems that Bioware is closing down its BSN, or official Bioware forums, very soon. This channel was a direct product of the echo chamber that was the Bioware social forums. I started with my Mass Effect 2 plot analysis as a form of argument, as it appeared the typed-out list of problems with the story of Bioware's games seemed not only lackluster, but heavily flawed, to the point of being bad, it was simply not being heard by people there. Over the years, the forums have largely been irrelevant, since there was no real interaction between the moderators or a lot of the people in the Bioware dev team and the fans. I got banned there geez, several years ago, so no real sleep was lost. I was more than content using my YouTube channel to express my critical analysis of Bioware's many titles. Then there was the whole Stanley Wu fiasco and the end of lining and the permabanning of people that has never really stopped. What, you swore once in a post? Well, that means you're permabanned. Check out a post made today by Anubis TFPF talking about their fellow user Dragon Racer. I haven't really posted here for a couple of years now, but I was active from Neverwinter Nights release up until then. Some of you may remember me, many probably don't. At any rate, I just needed to come back and comment how disgusted I am with the fact that my good friend Dragon Racer was permanently banned from here for dropping an F-bomb. Dragon is the author of the resource libraries that are stickied at the top of the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer and Dragon Age Inquisition multiplayer forums. She's been a serious advocate for Bioware, beloved by many users here, and has a long list of friends at Bioware that she has played with, played many a game with. Her banning here over what was formerly considered a minor offense is, in a word, horrible. She was shedding tears for losing this place, and then she was permanently banned for one upset post. BSN, the Bioware forums, are already dead if this is considered acceptable here. I have purchased nearly all of Bioware's games myself. That likely just changed. The biggest fiasco was still the Mass Effect 3 ending, where Casey Hudson directly lied and was in damage control mode for months, even after the extended cut came in out in June 2012. And Mac Walters is still on board and is now the director of the next Mass Effect, as if that makes any sense. Because who needs to clean shop or change brand image when Mass Effect 3's ending was totally not controversial? I don't know how the milk toast reaction to Dragon Age Inquisition was, that's way after my time, but I imagine the community was just a bunch of inarticulate fanboys going on and on about riding the bull or still writing Varric fanfics or other such stuff. But it's still been the echo chamber for yes men and overly sensitive moderators who won't tolerate people getting emotional because, you know, fans never get emotional. Instead of turning the forum into a fan moderated place with actual feedback from developers and writers, to improve the quality of their product, they just close it down. Why? Because they get to meet people at conventions. Quote, Now we can travel around the world, meeting you face-to-face -face at events like PAX, SDCC, and even shows in our own backyard. We can share stories with you on the go, giving you a look behind the scenes on sites like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. End quote. None of which have anything to do with providing detailed, critical, step-by-step -step feedback on why their product isn't as good as one might think. They're essentially telling us, we only accept kudos or praise, which is all of what they've done on BSN throughout the years. And YouTube? I don't know. Who the hell needs their fans to critically analyze the nonsensical piece of internal marketing that was the Mass Effect Andromeda E3 video? They lie in their marketing. Apparently, these YouTube fanboys haven't figured that out yet. Quote, in turn, you've built your own fantastic communities in places like Tumblr and Reddit. You've created comprehensive wikis and countless pieces of fantastic art fiction, and cosplay, end quote. This isn't really about cosplay or fan creation of content. It's about Bioware not listening to their fans. I don't particularly consider places like Reddit a great community of objective of critical analysis, and Tumblr, which is seemingly dominated by LGBT, LMNOP, politically-minded nutjobs, well, this is all hardly a place for artistic analysis and critique. Quite the opposite, these places exist to pat themselves on the back because they're well, like-minded fans. And all the stranger when one's bizarre left-wing socialist need to cater to political agendas even exist. Follow any writer of any Bioware project on Twitter and you'll see them to be their SJW feminists, like Karen Weeks, or the newly hired writer Sam Maggs, the woman crying virtual rape in GTA V, or even Jennifer Hale. They just cannot shut up about their political nonsense being fantastic, when the real focus should be on making good art. It doesn't mean that these people can't express themselves any way they like on any media. It just showcases what kind of mind they have, and these sorts of things are not really conducive to making good art. 
It's not to say you cannot have political agendas or you can't have political ideas in your art, but when that becomes a very predominant theme, that's when there's a problem. That's when you notice the seams being loosely connected between each other. That's not good. So now the official forum for fans to communicate their ideas to Bioware is going to be gone. Does it matter anymore? I don't know if it ever really did. Do the fans have a direct form of communication to the dev teams? I don't think so. Who knows if they're even listening still? I stopped buying their products since Mass Effect 2 and don't intend to start. So kudos to Bioware for destroying an echo chamber. Or for banning real fans who dedicated themselves to a forum they strongly believed in. They banned the passionate, articulate ones who contributed to such a forum for filling in detailed lore and providing argumentation, and who never really bothered to allow such a group of people to officially moderate said forum, and then provide actual, real, meaningful feedback. You don't really listen anyway to criticism, or there, or anywhere else, so it, I guess it doesn't really matter. 